17. I won again! It's your lucky day, baby. That's because I have my good luck honey with me. Should we go again? Nope. Feels he would. Thank you. I would have kept throwing it down until it was all gone. But I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Besides, I'm hungry. And not just for lunch. Just the two of us and the rest of the world, all of them far, far away. I don't want to stay. Doesn't have to. This is our time, baby. It's you and me. Nobody else. Well, this is going to be a fun trip. Yeah. Feels like I haven't been to Vegas in forever. Thanks again for organizing, Zach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our last adult-filled vacation for quite some time. Uh. So, are there any uh, good shows in town? Ryan. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, we can get tickets to anything you want. Just sit back and enjoy yourself. I guess it helps to be friends with the owner of the casino. Yeah. What's wrong? Oh. What? Any? No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oof. Okay, you two. Talk to me. What? Well, I'm not buying that you're joining us on this getaway just to have a little fun. So tell me what the hell this trip is really about. Ah, 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 what's the magic word? Your mama. Get... Hey, what's up, Fletcher? You ain't looking so pretty, what? Because I ran into an idiot with a death wish. Oh, yeah? That's why you're traveling around with the circus team now, huh? I'm a businessman, not a fighter, okay? I hire people to do my dirty work. But, in your case, I'm making an exception. This was Annie's idea, both the trip and us going with you guys. I understand that, but considering how Kendall feels about Annie right now, it just strikes me as a little bit odd that you would jump at the chance to spend some time with her, that's all. I jumped at the chance to spend time with both of you. No matter who you're with, Ryan, you're always going to be my friend. Annie's going through a lot right now, and it's put a strain on our friendship, all of us. You know, I just thought, um, I'd like to get that back, that's all. Okay, well, we'd like that. So did you ever find out what that key was for? The one that Annie had hidden behind the frame? Kendall? No, I didn't, and it doesn't matter. Okay, well, you know me. Curiosity killed the... Kendall? Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm sorry, late. sorry. Go check on Annie. What part of play nice didn't you understand? I, I, honestly, I just I wanted to find out if you knew something. And I thought we weren't going to be a confrontation. That wasn't confrontational. I was being inquisitive. Inquisitive? Yes. Don't push things. Zach, you said so yourself. There's something screwy with Annie. She's going through a lot right now. That's what I said. Well, I think it's more than that. She's hiding something. Annie, you okay in there? Yeah, I'll be right out. I know you, sis. You're not going anywhere. Not to bed, not to Vegas, nowhere. Not until you take care of Green. Cheers, babies. So what do you think the story is? The guy in the black shirt over there. Where? Right there. He's here for the convention. The uh, dental instrument manufacturer convention. 
He's, he's married, but he's trying to have his little wicked way with the, uh, the girl that's hanging on his arm. And she is definitely not his wife. Okay, come on. How'd you come up with all that? Because um, signing for the convention was going on in the lobby when we checked in. And they gave everybody these little like, name tags, right? And he had one right here. He's not wearing it now. I saw him wearing it earlier. Okay. Okay, clever. You don't believe me? Well, how do you know that he's married and he's cheating with her? He's wedding ring finger. See the tan line right there? And that girl is wearing a dress so short it screams, I am available, baby, not I belong to you. Oh. And now he's lost. And there she goes, we'll find another guy with some cash. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. They're so cute. Okay, 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 it's my turn. They're on their, like, umpteenth wedding anniversary. Still, it's madly in love after all these years. They have kids, kids are grown. Kids probably have kids of their own. And Grammy and Gramps are here celebrating their second honeymoon. What do you think? Maybe. I think he's here for the uh, dental instrument convention also. Just picked her up at the bar, and he's hoping to get his naughty little way with us. Oh, stop. Because of the oh. You're so sweet. I bet I'm right. I'm going to find out. Hi. What are you doing? Hi. Hey, can I send a bottle of champagne to that couple over there? Sure. Okay. Look at them. They're so in love. Just one for lunch? Um, no, two, actually. He's not here yet. You want to just wait at the bar? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, all right, easy. You got my attention, so what do you want? Ah, <sighs> that's better. You know, a smart guy once said, uh, if it doesn't kill me, it makes me stronger. You got lucky when you sucker punched me. You're not going to get that chance again. All right, I can, I can see that. Good. Now, I want you to listen very carefully to the phone call I'm about to make. Hello, baby. Fletcher, how did you get this number? Uh, relax, Randy. I'm just calling to make a peace offering. You know, you have caused oh so many headaches for me, and you're just not worth the trouble anymore, so I'm cutting you loose. You're a free agent. You're kidding me, right? You ever known me to have a sense of humor when it comes to business? So what? No strings attached, nothing? Free as a bird. You just stay off my turf, and we're done. Look, you don't have to worry about that, I promise. That's my girl. Look, Fletcher, thanks for this, I appreciate it. I'm only doing it because I know you'll be back, baby. You know, you're a good girl, just a little naive, and... I know you're gonna see this guy for the con job he is, and then you're gonna realize who your real friends are. <laughs> but that's something you gotta learn on your own. I, I'll see you later. Sooner than later, my little sexy. She sounded happy, really happy. What was that all about? Well, just giving the bitch a little false sense of security. You know, keep her from running away so I could keep 